Diprotodon so, was a absolutely monstrous animal. It weighed up to around about three and a half uh, thousand kilograms, particularly for the really big ones. Some people describe it as a long-legged wombat. It was around about three and a half meters in length or so. Um, stood around about my height at the shoulder, so I'm around about 1.8, 1.9 meters, something like that. They had a huge skull. The, sc the skull on the biggest males got up to around about a meter or so in length. The exciting thing is that we've revealed something that no one else has ever figured out before for this particular animal. We drilled several samples um, from a diprotodon incisor tooth. And the incisor tooth is really important within diprotodons because they were, they were continuously growing tooth. As soon as it erupted from the young animal, it would not stop growing throughout its entire life. And what's good about that then is that it basically records what the animal was doing as it, as it grew. What's really exciting about the specimen is that for the first time we, we were able to show that Diprotodon was a seasonal migrant. And by that, I mean that it had the ability to move um, outside of its probably normal home range and then come back to it on a seasonal type of basis. This is the only marsupial that we know of that ever had the ability to undertake seasonal migration. The fact that it was a seasonal migrant makes us question then what other species were also migrating around at the same time. We know from the basis of other evidence that Australia at that particular point in time was a lot wetter, a lot more humid than what it is today. And if you think, okay, it's a little bit wetter, it's a little bit more humid, and then we've got big animals like diprotodons migrating, that's something that's really similar, to me at least, to things like what we have in East Africa today, places like the Serengeti, where we have these big seasonal migration type of events. Australia could be a really fantastic kind of natural experiment to explain what happens when you lose these big migrating herbivores from any type of ecosystem.